for a double play here to end the first inning. And Michael will hit it off the end of the bat and get some great carry to it. And that ball hits the top of the wall. It is in play. Uh oh. Now we've got a backup on the bases. Michael Morse heading back to first. He's going to be tagged out. We got to look at a replay and see where that ball hit. That ball appeared to hit the top of the wall, bounce off the back wall. And it was called in play by the umpires, and this is going to be reviewed. Davey Johnson's already out. And what happened there, FP, was Harper scored easily. Ryan Zimmerman got around to third base. Nobody was sure, and that's what created the backup. All right, let's check it out. Right side of your screen. That's a home run. That is a home run. That's a home run. When they look at that. And if that's a home run, it's a grand slam. The Nats would lead by four. And this is going to be really interesting in the context of what's available to the Nats in this game tonight. So it appeared the ball. And here's the thing about Bush Stadium. We can tell you right now. That's on the that's the top of the wall. It hits the back wall. That back wall is not in play because the wall around Bush Stadium is eight feet high all the way around. There are no quirks to the height of the outfield wall. Good call. So anything over that initial wall doesn't have to go over. That electronic sign above. No. So that's a home run. That sign is behind the eight foot wall. The call was made by Chris Guccione right away. He gave the safe sign. Meeting the balls in play. There's a net standing on every base. And I would assume the umpires will not be out very long on this one. Check it out one more time. It's a home run. And again, the ground rule of Bush Stadium states that the wall is eight feet high all the way around the ballpark. There is no variation in that. Look at the reaction of Michael Morris on first base. You think this game is big? Here they come. Something's being explained to Davey Johnson. I don't like that. Yeah. Don't like that at all. No, there's some clapping going on in the dugout. Sean Burnett. Grand clapping. slam. It's a grand slam for Michael Morris. I don't know why they had to explain everything to the dugout. I think they're trying to determine did any runners pass each other on the bases. Well it's irrelevant because it was a home run. But I think if you hit a home run and you pass somebody up on the bases There's they want to make sure Michael Morse touches all the bases. This is awesome. He's running backwards to touch all the bases <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Michael Morse has he got to go back in the batter's box. And then and then you could say see you later. Look at this. I've never seen this before in my life. This is unbelievable. There's got to be a reason why the umpires are doing this. <laughs> Michael's saying, do I have to swing again? <laughs> Look at it. You got to make a call here on the pitch, don't you? There it goes. <laughs> are you kidding me? Right field. It is deep. <laughs> See you later. Grand slam. The Nationals are on top by four. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, right when you thought you've seen everything in a major league baseball game, they pressed rewind on the video, and Michael Morris went phantom grand slam. And that's how this one starts. Unbelievable. Well, 376 feet and a four run first inning. The umpire stopped at the Nationals dugout to explain to Davey Johnson why everybody had to go back to their respective bases. <laughs>